back, still with Learning Guide 10. Um, we are on the second part of Learning Guide 10, working with radicals. And now we are going to add and subtract radicals. Okay, our first example here is we have root 50, and we have uh, 3 root 2. So the key thing here is we're combining like terms or like radicals, okay? So we're looking for the radicants to be the same so we can bring the coefficients together. All right, so we go to our calculator, because we got 50 there, type it into that program we know, and we get 5, 5, and 2. So we know that these guys can break out of jail because they partner up with each other. They come out of jail. So that's why you have the 5 there and the 2 is in jail. It has no partner. And 2 root 2 is as simple as it gets, so it just drops down. Now you recognize that you have like radicals, root 2 and root 2. So now you add 5 plus 3 and you get the 8. And you have 8 radical 2s. All right, example B. So we have 72 now. Well, we go to our calculator, and out comes 6, 6, and 2. So we know the jailbreak procedure. That breaks out. That's why we have 6. The 2 and the x come together there. We type in 18 into our program. 3, 3, and 2. Jailbreak. 3's come out. That's why you have a 3. And the 2 and x stay there. Now we do have like radicals. We have root 2, we have root 2. So now we bring together the 6, take away 3, and we get 3 with root 2x. All right, let's try some. So with this one, the first thing we want to do is break down 24. And when we break down 24, we have a 2, a 2, a 2, and a 3. And then we add it to root 6. Well, root 6 doesn't break down. So now we do our jailbreak. So we're looking for groups of 2. So these 2's come out. All right, so now they are eliminated. They broke out of jail. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And the 2 times the 3 is root 6. And then we have root 6. Now, do we have like radicals? Yes, we do. They're both root 6s. Now we bring the coefficient. Well, there is a coefficient here. There's something there that's invisible. It's a 1. We have one of those. So now we bring those together. So it's negative 5 root 6. All right, let's move over to B. So we have 20, and when we break 20 down, we know we get a 2, a 2, and a 5 with the x. And we break down 45, we get uh, 3 and a 3 and uh, another 3. Oh, what, 3, 3, and a 5. Okay, because 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 5 is 45, so now break out, we come out, breaks out, so that's negative 9 root 5, break out of jail, 2 and we have 5x, okay I forgot the x here on the side, so let's put the x back in, alright, so now do we have like radicals? Yes, we do. So bring these together, a minus 7 and a 5x. All right, so moving on to topic 2, multiplying radicals. Okay, with multiplying radicals, we apply our distributive property, or sometimes you know it as rainbow. Multiply, multiply, multiply. I remember that rainbow business. Okay, so let's apply our rainbow. So the first thing we want to do is 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Then the radicant times the radicant is 
18. Now, 18 is the radicon. We break it down to 3, 3, and 2. We jailbreak, so those 3's break out. And negative 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, and that 2 is all by itself. So there's our answer, negative 30 root 2. Over here, a bit more complicated because there's a lot more rainbowing going on. So we're going to take this 9, there's a reason here. We're going to take this term and multiply it by this term. So the 8 times the 9 is 72. The 2 times the 5 is root 10. Remember, coefficients with coefficients, radicands with radicands. Okay, now we're going to go over and do this one. So the 8 times the 6 is 48. The 2 times the 10 is 20. All right, so now let's switch over and take this one. Now there is only a coefficient here. There's no radicand with the 5. So we go negative 5 times 9 is negative 45. And then this radical 5 just attaches because there's no radicals to times. Same thing here. This negative 5 times is that 6. They get negative 30. And that radical 10 just attaches. All right. Can we jailbreak anything? Yes, we can. I know 20 can jailbreak. The 10 can't, so we need that. The 5 can't, and the 10 can't. So let's break down 20. So we go to our prime factorization program. We get a 2, a 2, and a 20. All right, so jailbreak. And these guys break out times that by 2. So we get 96 with the root 5. Everything else just sort of slides down, that slides down, that slides down, that slides down. Okay, so let's look for like radicals. Okay, do you see any like radicals? Well, I see a root 10 there, and I see a root 10 there. So those are like radicals. So I bring those coefficients together. 72 take away 30 is 42, and it's 42 root 10. Then I look for the root 5 and the root 5. Those are like radicals. I bring those together. So 96 take away 45 is 51, and it's root 5. And there's my answer. All right, so let's move on. So the next thing we are doing, we are looking at some problems here. So we're not going to do them all, so we'll just do, uh, let's do the one up here, B, because it's a different one we haven't seen. We have now a cubed, the index is 3, so it's something a little different than what we've done before. So with this, we are going to apply what we know and then solve it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, multiply. So let's go. Remember, there's an index of 1 there. You don't see it, but it's there. It's just disappeared. So we are going to rainbow the 9 times the 1, which is 9. And we are going to multiply the radicands with each other. So that's 8m squared. Remember, the index is 3. Okay, then we're going to take this and do the same thing there. 9 times 7 is 63, and 2m times 28 is 56m, and the index is 3. All right, so can we jailbreak anything to make it simpler? And let's break down the 8 here. So we know we have a 9 there. And 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, and we got m squared times 2 m. All right, so now can 56 break down? Well, 56 um, we can break down, so let's just put a plus sign and let's go down here. We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. 
just have the one M. Okay, let's apply our jailbreak. Remember the index is three. So we're looking for groups of three. So there's a group of three, they break out. So they're out now. There's not three M's, there's just two M's, so that can't break out yet. So nine times two is 18. And what's left in jail is just M squared. That's the index of three. Same thing here. We have a group of three that break out of jail. And that is 126. And these two don't have anyone to help them break out of jail. So that's 7M. And there's our index. And there's our answer.